How's it going, ladies and gents? My bizarre tart. And just earlier, I just got I there uh, there there there. I just installed possibly the biggest upgrade I've got so far. Worth 650 quid. It was a six-core, 12 thread processor with a massive board and a um, current gen RAM. So uh, this is exactly what happened. Eight? No, not eight. Five and a half hours ago. <laughs> Okay, so what do you find in the ASRock Extreme 6 board? You find two manuals, the SATA cables, there's six in total. You find a three and four way SLI bridge, this thing, which I chuck on the floor, M.2 screws, and the SLI bridge, which I peel open. So you can see it is in all of its anti-static glory. The, I, the uh, rather plain looking IO shield. And finally, the big blue motherboard. And here's me unpacking it, like, an in, like a complete imbecile. Look at me, I can barely open the thing. Ah, here we go. And now, the processor. 300 pounds worth of hardware. Look at the thing, looks glorious. And brother Torrent cannot, cannot zoom. Here's me, well, cut it open with not not using a knife, but using a pair of scissors for some reason. And here's another shot from Brother Torrent showing the nomenclature. Now, the installation. Take this lever off first, and then this lever, if I can, get it off. There we go. You can see the 2014 pins in the motherboards. Here's me attempting to install it carefully with very shaky hands. Line up the notches, give it a little wiggle, and that's about it. And close it sort of like that. Put one lever, if possible, down because I'm an idiot. Right, put this lever down first. There we go. And then the second lever down, which you couldn't see entirely, and then pop off the uh, thing. And now the cooler. Look at it. There's your AMD, there's your AMD mounting, and your Intel mounting. We're gonna need that one. And then your accessories, which include many things, which I'm not gonna show you yet. And here is, well, some of it. Some of the cooler. It's an Octo and NHG12S for PP, for people wondering. And here's me trying to open the damn thing, which is impossible. And here, the Fable cooler has been released. And here is the RAM. Look at it. Low profile goodness. 16 gigabytes of quad channel memory. Install them in the correct slots, like this, and not in the wrong way. Sort of like this. And here's me installing the motherboards. While Brother Torrent cannot control the camera. At this point, I was mounting the cooler using Noctua's SecuFirm technology. And then you're witnessing me put the other mounting pieces in. And there we go. The fans were placed from poo brown to nice black. Now that is an awesome looking cooler. Here you can now see me installing the cooler while Brother Torrent finally finds the zoom function. There we go, the cooler's been installed. Look at it in its magnificent glory on top of the six core. Now, the graphics card, my 970. Here you can see me installing the power connector with the world's stiffest cable. And finally, it's been turned on. And here we go. The power is on, and oh, there's a there's a problem with it. And after pushing in the RAM entirely, I have now got it working. And look at it in its glory. Very loud glory, but it's glory. Although this was sorted out later. And there we are, guys. It's finally finished. That is a serious upgrade. That is going to make rendering time so much quicker. In fact, it has. I've tested this on Vegas Pro and I've tested this on Cinebench and it absolutely destroyed my old processor by stupid amounts. There will be a bloopers coming in the next week and stay tuned for a fair update around around Wednesday. So yeah, so yeah guys, that's it. It's all done. It's finally it's finally finished. Just one more thing to go, and that is another graphics card so I can get SLI POWER! But, for now guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you like this video, go ahead and give this one a big epic thumbs up. And I'll see each and every one of you guys very, very, 
much later.